What it do, what it do? Psych Posse Napoles, your girl Karma J, coming at you guys with a quick and easy um, makeup review on the new Laura Mercier translucent, loose, I can't read, the <laughs> translucent loose setting powder. Uh, you can see it in BAM, medium deep, guys. Ooh, finally, yes! Yes, yes, I know we've been waiting for this day. It recently was just like, it's really, really new because I had to order it on Sephora.com. They had to ship it to my house because I saw it and as soon as I saw it, I'm like, click. I definitely have to get that product because I love the, um, I love Laura Mercier in general. I really like their other powder that I use usually to highlight my concealer and stuff like that. But I'm like, hey, they got a dark one. I'll take it because, you know, I like banana powder. I like kind of the, you know, darkish, yellowish, um, setting powders obviously to set my concealer because I have really yellow undertones I'm like a coconut color in the Maybelline fit me and everything so let's just get started I'm trying to make this really really quick beautiful beautiful let's open this up and you know I was looking at it earlier um but uh I don't know guys it's kind of dark you know what I mean I don't know am I dragging it am I dragging it I mean like because like I it's kind of like my skin tone maybe not maybe I am dragging it I'm not really sure but I'm just gonna show you guys basically how, how it looks it looks a little dark but I could be seeing things this is my concealer um I use toffee the color toffee of LA girl I'm just gonna go in with a little just to show you guys how I usually do my concealer And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the medium deep over my concealer. So I'm just going to take a wet beauty blender, not too wet, but moist the way after you wet it and squeeze it. And then I'm going to put it in the medium deep. I'm going to put the medium deep under one eye. Hmm. I feel like it kind of blends right in, literally. Like, literally blends right in. <laughs> And I'm going to put the translucent lighter powder, the one that is really, really common, under my other eye. You know, the lighter powder I like, but sometimes you have to be careful because if you put too much on, it will definitely look cakey. And you're going to be looking like a ghost when your friends take pictures under flash. Like, ooh, that happened to me before. So. Oh! I'll just blend that out after. <laughs> Oops! Now, basically, as you can see, obviously, if you like a lighter highlight, I would say most likely, let me blend this out so I can show you guys. I'm going to blend this out first. I do like how it has kind of a yellow undertone, I feel like. Let's see how I feel about it. Just buff it out. I feel like I don't know if I'm going to use it to bake. I don't really like baking in the first place, so. Wow. It's actually really pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to blend this one out. Oh, huh. Mm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Am I going crazy or? They look, both look very pretty. I'm shocked. I thought this was really, really dark, so I was like, oh God, it's gonna blend with my skin tone. I feel like this looks a little lighter. I might be going crazy, I'm not sure. I feel like if you want a brighter, like bam underglow of, of under your eyes or you know wherever you bake then this might be the better option but if you don't want to do too much you know what i mean i only bake if i'm going to a special event you know i don't like to overdo it i would go with the medium deep because it looks very beautiful and very natural all right and even you know this matches my skin tone i feel like a little you could even use this as let me check it let me check it out <laughs> Ooh. oh Oh my goodness, uh, is it me? <laughs> Ooh, it feels just so soft and wow, it even blends in with my makeup. I feel like this is a great everyday powder. Wow, I'm shocked. Mm, good job, Laura. All right, <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> oh, I do like it. Not gonna lie, I like it. I do. I feel like this is more natural. It might look the same. I'm not really sure. I'm, I don't know if I'm going crazy. Maybe I am. I don't know. This looks like it might look a little more natural. This looks a little lighter. Maybe. You could be the judge of that. Let me see if I go... I don't want to drag it. I'm going to mix in a little of um, 
my white powder with the Laura Mercier on the medium D to see how it looks if anything happens, you know. Just a little. Because I if it would be nicer if it was a little lighter a little lighter because I do like to set my concealer with a color that is lighter than my skin tone, but it doesn't feel cakey at all, you know. I feel like you're good if you mix it. If you don't mix it, you know, if you can mix both found both powders together, or you don't have to. I do like the medium deep. I feel like it's really, really nice and soft on the face. Oh, I'm a little obsessed. Okay, all right, let me let me chill out before I overdo it. <laughs> well, that's that's how I feel. I would give it out of ten. I would say like a eight to nine, most likely, just because it, it would be very, very nice if it was a little lighter. You know what I mean? But if you're if you're much darker than me, because I'm not the darkest skin tone on the spectrum. If you're looking at different colors, it's beautiful, beautiful, dark, much darker woman. I feel like this would be great and stand out even more as a highlight under your eyes. But if you're kind of my skin tone, you can use it to highlight under your eyes a low highlight, or you can use it to set your foundation. And also, I feel like if you're a lighter, obviously a fairer skin tone, you could use this most likely to set your contour you know what I mean if you have like a contour that's around that color it might be a little dark maybe not you can try it out see what happens so we're gonna see how it looks under flash because you know about flashbacks so we're gonna see if we suffer from flashback with the medium deep side but I'm sure we're gonna suffer from it from this side but so I put the flash on to show you how it looks this definitely I barely put on and wow already like BAM you see what I'm talking about I can't trust the way so I'm just gonna blend this one out I feel like I like this because it's gonna be easier to blend out way easier you know what I mean as opposed to I'm not sure if I got all of it but as opposed to this you know what I mean this could be very very tricky with any skin tone really like you know but obviously it's gonna be more of a contrast if you're darker yeah I'm definitely gonna go with the medium deep I like the medium deep better because I don't really have to worry about flashback unlike you know unlike over here on this side this side I like this one uh, I don't know I don't know if it cleared up now but you probably have to blend out more well good job Laura I really okay I like it oh oh okay well stay tuned I'm definitely gonna be doing more videos like this because I really want to update you on the newest makeup or what's out there, what's on the market. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know if you tried it already, but I feel like, you know, this might be a lighter one. I feel like if you use the original, it's fine. If you use the medium deep, it's fine. And you can put a little of the original on the medium deep just if you want a little. Bam. Mm, mm. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in with me, guys, today. Have an amazing, beautiful day. God bless and stay fabulous.